is Elena Palmer. I am in fifth grade and I did a project on Gator Town. Gator Town is talking about the 13 colonies and how how Jamestown survived in the wilderness. First in social studies, we built these log cabins or houses that they made back then. Some of them are extraordinary, some of them are interesting, some of them are cool. All of them are one of a kind. Some of them are made out of wood, some of them are made out of rocks but all of these the, the kids made in social studies. The cabin, it was sort of my choice with a little influence, but I, got to, I was able to design it how I wanted, just with a simple sketch. In reading, we wrote a narrative story on how we were colonists and what we would do if we had to sail on a boat from England to Virginia. And in science, we created these foil boats that we, we got to sail, and we had a little competition to see whose could go the fastest across the water. Hello everybody, my name is Noah Nutzman and today I'm going to be explaining one of our project, one of the pieces of our project and in the engineering design process and how we used it in our overall project. For the project I'm talking about, we, I'm talking about the one of which we built, built a boat out of tin foil and sailed it across a bucket of water pretending that that bucket was the, the ocean going to one of these colonies. Now, the way we use the engineering design process is we asked how do we build our boat? What design are we going to use? We explored the options of how to build our boat. We modeled it. We made the model of that boat after creating it in our mind, we evaluated the boat and its design to see if there was any improvements we could make, and then we explained it by sailing it across the ocean with straws. We also used the, the engineering design process in our overall project, our houses, our boats, our story, and 3D SketchUp. In math, we, we got to design our houses, we had to draw the feet in the perimeter, and we had to have, and for each story, um, we had to have a perimeter of 50. In 3D SketchUp, we used it to ask ourselves how we would build that house. We explored the options, we modeled it on the computer, evaluated it with trying to figure out what else could we put in, and then explained it to the teacher. In our house, we 
asked, how should we build the house in real life? Things may fall over when they didn't in SketchUp, seeing as things can't fall over in a computer. We explored the options of what materials we could use and how we would use them. We modeled it in real life, unlike we modeled it on the computer. It was much harder because when we evaluated it, we, we found some flaws. And sometimes it is hard to find flaws in something you've created. We then explained it to the class and put them on display. Hello, my name is Michael Lambert, and this is Omar Chaho. We are going to be talking about SketchUp. It's an app. It's a program where you can do it in real life for engineering. You can use it when, if an engineer had needs to design something, you need you can have a prototype to see what it looks like in real life. And using SketchUp is a perfect way to do that. For all of us. It felt very excited because you're using 3D and it actually looks real to real life engineering. If you're going to be an engineer, you'll have a step closer of how things are going to be processed and how things are going to work. Teamwork is important in STEM and in the real life because if you work together in a real life and in STEM, you get stuff accomplished more easier together. And also, if you make a mistake and you want to fix it but you don't know how, your friend or your teammate can work together and figure that mistake and make it even better. Thank you.